So right now, the legislation, we are actually in the midst of negotiating it. So, so I can't answer that right now because we are actually negotiating some fixes. They could be the Liberal Party's only hope to avoid a pandemic election, but the NDP's Jugmeet Singh can't say if he'll support the Liberal Party in a confidence vote. This comes after an earlier report that said Singh was ready to play ball. But Singh says while his party is happy with efforts to expand COVID relief benefits, he's concerned that a proposed sick leave won't be accessible for workers. For a worker in Canada, if they fall sick, they should not have to make the impossible choice. Do I go to work sick, risking infecting my colleagues, or do I stay at home, risking not being able to pay my bills because I'm not being paid, I don't have any paid sick leave. Senior government ministers introduced Bill C-2 earlier in the day, which rolls out some liberal throne speech promises. Those going off Serb and onto EI will get less money, but more than was initially proposed, something Singh took credit for. There's also the paid sick leave and new benefits for the self-employed and parents who have seen schools or daycares closed due to COVID. The deputy PM urged MPs of all parties to consider the crisis Canada is in. A failure to extend the legislation we are putting forward today could disrupt these payments with very harmful consequences for people's lives, for families and for businesses across the country. It was a busy day in Ottawa with the Prime Minister taking heat from opposition members for a throne speech they say lacked substance. Justin Trudeau responding by emphasizing the danger COVID still poses. Another liberal speech from the throne, another speech full of recycled liberal promises with grand gestures and lofty visions, but with no real plan to deal with the pandemic. A basic fact in this moment in our history COVID-19 is still very much with us. We have not made it through the pandemic. We are still in the very, in, in the thick of this struggle. With the Tories firmly opposed to liberal plans, the NDP could be one of the only options to keep the government afloat. Meanwhile, the Bloc Québécois says they could be persuaded, but first they want the federal government to commit to making funding available for health care requested by the four premiers of Ontario, Quebec, Alberta and Manitoba last week. The BQ says they'll give the Liberals one week to consider their request, suggesting the confidence vote could happen around then. In Ottawa, Shao Li Lee, City News.